Hello everyone, this is Meera Alva. Thanks for your questions. I'm going to try to answer some of them in this video today. Being thick-skinned at times feels like a protective gear that helps us defend ourselves against hurtful and aggressive people. While you cannot change your very nature and numb yourself uh, completely from such people, I would say it is helpful to practice in advance what you would like to say in response to some of these insults. You can let them know right away that they are being offensive um, and you are not okay with it. You do not have to be thick skinned to stand up for yourself. Keep practicing your responses and feel free to repeat it as many times as you need to. Good luck. I'm so sorry to hear that and about how you're feeling. Social media and gadgets have ruined our quality of connection and relationships. It must be so hurtful when your mom doesn't attend to you or really listen to you. Have you tried talking to her about this? Perhaps maybe she wasn't listening even then. You could write her a letter maybe to let her know how serious this is and the impact it is having on your relationship and on you. If this doesn't work, maybe you could get help from your father or any other significant family member maybe. Uh, somebody who your mother would listen to. Good luck with this. When we are anxious, our body goes into a fight or flight mode. It is natural for us to experience, for instance, a raised heartbeat. Uh, like quick breathing, hand tremors can also be a sign of anxiety and can be experienced during a panic episode. How often do you experience these hand tremors? Um, are you feeling anxious during these symptoms? Please do consult a medical professional to assess the causes. If it's anxiety, then you need to see a psychiatrist for symptom relief or a psychotherapist to help you understand and manage your anxiety more effectively. All the very best. It's important to talk to someone if you're feeling depressed, even if you don't know why. You could begin with someone you trust and feel safe with, like a parent or a close friend. And if you don't have anyone you think you can, you know, who would understand, please talk to a counselor or a psychotherapist. We have contacts and resources shared in our book, Young Mental Health, and on the Health Collective website. Hope you receive the support you're looking for. All the very best. When you find yourself consistently feeling low and it begins to affect your day-to-day -day functioning, it might be a good idea to seek support. You could also reach out to see if you need ongoing therapy or counseling support by having an initial session with a mental health professional. I know it can be difficult to at times differentiate between feeling sad and being depressed. You are not alone and a professional can help you assess the difference. My very best wishes are with you.